Hey there fam, welcome back to my channel and hello to all the new subscribers. Nice to meet ya. Um, thanks for giving me a chance, right, right? And a massive thank you to Alex over at the Bookie Biz. Holy cow pie, Batman. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was an official moment where my brain dropped out of my ass. <laughs> So seriously, thank you. And also thank you for helping me to realize exactly how I feel about clowns. Because, like, I grew up on, with, like, Ronald McDonald and stuff like that. And I don't remember having a problem with clowns as a kid. But as an adult, knowing about folks like, not just, you know, characters like Pennywise, but human beings like John Wayne Gacy and stuff. Like, clowns just hit different now. And I'm pretty sure I danced around watching that video. <laughs> And then watch it like, I want to know, which is the costume and which is Alex? <laughs> Seriously, thank you so much. Let's get started for the Halloweenathon 2021 wrap up. Curiouser and curiouser. Okie dokie, so um, I'm not going to do an April um, wrap up because that's pretty much what one of my most recent videos was and I'm not, I'm not going to babble your face off about that shit again, okay? <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> but um, I do want to add a little something else to Rolling in the Deep. Um, I went over books one and two for Halloweenathon in the previous video, and I was kind of trying not, I didn't want to spoil, right, because it's, it's only like 100 pages, um, but there were some points that I, I really want to make, actually, about it, and I felt bad because I make talking points, I don't really write a script or anything, and sometimes I hit those points and sometimes I don't. <laughs> I really don't. So. The points that I'd like to make is, first of all, there's representation going on from LGBTQ to folks who have different reasons for using wheelchairs. So there are those points to make. But also, at risk of getting a little spoilerific, I'm not going to go into details about the scene. It's more an element within the scene with all this other shit going on. From the viewpoint of an animal lover, I'm also hella into oceanography and marine biology and shit like that, right? I love sharks. Just the descriptors used, like the way this whole scene unfolds, all these key points as everything happens, right, right? <laughs> There's an element to it that was really freaking adorable, okay? <laughs> it's like, okay, back to the terror. <laughs> But in that moment, as an animal lover, from the safe space of the reader's chair, that shit was adorable as fuck. <laughs> and I just can't let you get away without knowing that that's within that story, okay? That's all. Moving on. Book prompt three is read a horror book, the BIPOC author. And I went with The Only Good Indians. Um... I'm pretty sure that Stephen Graham Jones is now one of my favorite authors. And I don't mean like genre specific, I mean generally speaking, he is now one of my favorite authors. Um, when I ordered this book, it was either later on that day, if not the same order, maybe the next day I ordered <laughs> Mapping the Interior because I'd been wanting that fucking book. Um, <laughs> So, I mean, this is a perfect excuse to break that seal, like I said previously. Um, and then when I was about halfway through, maybe just past that point, I ordered None of the Mannequins. Um, from cover to cover, Stephen had me in the palm of his hand. Absolutely 100%, and I'm not mad about it. I needed a buffer day after reading this book. <laughs> and it's like... For me personally, while I was in it, while I was reading it, I was in it, you know? I was fully immersed. A lot of these characters remind me of people I've known throughout my life, family, friends, co-workers, whatever, growing up in the Pacific Northwest, right? And um, I also really love it when writers will make you curious as to who the fuck in their life inspired this character. If not the character, then this particular f shit. 
you know, like whatever that silly Billy said or whatever the fuck, right? And Stephen had me having moments like that throughout the book. Um, and for me personally, the ebb and flow of emotions, like he just, in the palm of his hand, I was right there. I appreciated the that ebb and flow of emotions being evoked and stuff and, and the timeline of things and how things were unfolding. I really fucking love the lore going on here in this story a lot. That was, that, that, I mean, that was cool. And there were times when like humor would kind of like get a chance to peek through, like it would be there, but then even like in like the thick of it, to me, I really appreciated those humorous peaks. And there was like, even a point, my final freaking post-it note in this book is, well, this guy, <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> God damn it. But me and who I am as a person, I really freaking appreciated that. Um, so while reading it, I was in it and I was feeling it and it was like, you know, full immersion. So when I put it down, when I was done, it was like, yeah, there are scenes that I'm never going to forget from the story. But I did, it's not like I felt heavy. It was just like, you know, like from beginning to end, like it had, it's, you know, for me anyway, I'm, am I explaining this correctly? <laughs> for how I feel. I didn't consciously think that I needed that buffer time, right? If I finished a book during this readathon one day, then by the end of day, I was starting the next book. Um, I actually meant to start off the previous Wednesday because I didn't want to, like, just in case of any migraines or any shit, like, I didn't want to lose track, right, or time. Um, and, like, you know, I just, I just needed a day, apparently. <laughs> and I forget. I was being stubborn that night though. It was like, my eyelids are already heavy, but damn it, I'm gonna start book four, okay? I think I made it about two chapters and and then the next day it was just like, all right, just catch up on booktube, do some shit around the house, tend the garden and all that shit, and um, just chill, you know? Like I said, it wasn't a conscious thing. And I think it was like later on in the day when someone was uh, reviewing a book and they mentioned that they ne I needed a couple of days of buffer. And I was like, oh, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> it all made sense to me. When I, when I say like I put it down and I was going about my day, like it didn't affect me or anything. It's just like, it's not like I walked away from it unsettled. You know, like it, you know, I think I just needed to breathe a minute or something and not in a bad way in a very very good way um so yeah did i make any other points oh spoilers trigger warning i'll use just one word for you to keep it vague and not truly spoil anything um dog like, yeah, there's, there's hunting, there's talk of hunting. For me and my life and just the timeline and stuff, it was just too soon. So that's my own personal experience. Just, but because like, we've already discussed animal lovers and shit, you know, so, you know, just dog. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't, I don't know why I'm laughing. <laughs> I'm kind of stalling though, um, because I don't really want to talk about book four. <laughs> I was disappointed. And I gotta blow my nose now because this talking about this gets me emotional apparently. I kept like going over my talking points earlier and like, but I can't. Ugh. There are definitely points, you know, where it's like, you know, it's like a punch, you know, like a knee jerk, like gut punch or something. Uh, okay, I guess we can talk about the next book now. Where am I gonna put this shit? I'm gonna put this shit right, right there. I just want to take a moment to talk about what's been going on at the International Space Station, as in people going to and fro. <laughs> That's why I keep having the same buddy up here to remind myself about this talking point because it has inspired me. The fact that in this day and age, it's not just the news mentioning like, so oh, some astronauts went up into space, hey? But like, people, like you can watch this shit, it's streaming. And if you miss the stream, don't worry. It's right there, it's waiting for you. Like it's really fucking cool. I don't know how many times I've said that <laughs> in the past week since getting to watch Crew 2 go up. Like 
That's so fucking cool. So also being inspired by all this, like the world can be so fucked, like just generally speaking and definitely for the past year, like science is happening, fan. It's fuck yeah. Anyway, also inspired by this shit, I challenge you. I don't know if it's really a challenge. Do it if you want. Go for it. I'm going to watch Jason X. Fuck yeah. I haven't watched that shit since it hit cable when it first came out. I think I'm going to enjoy the fuck out of myself and laugh pretty much the whole time. So let's go. <laughs> it is on Netflix in America. So if you have that VPN, let's do it. It's been a minute. That shit came out in like, what, 99? Was it 99 or like 2001? I just recently looked that shit up once I got the idea. Can't fucking tell you the year. It's okay. Anyway, I guess I'll talk about this next book now. That this I got this gets like a verklempt talk amongst to self. Okay, so book four is a book with blood on the cover, and I've been holding on to this book since I didn't get it when it was released. I think I got it a couple months later. So almost a year. <laughs> Tomato, tomato. Um, so, so freaking. Um, I'm gonna try to make a few vague points or whatever the fuck before I, you know, I'm like, I'm uh, uh, I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to dodge spoilers. So, my Grady Hendrix readings began with my best friend's exorcism, and then we sold our souls, and then horror store. So I do still have more to read. Um, this is the first one that I, is my least favorite. Um, where are my talking points? Oh God. So it feels kind of like there's more than one thing or point or moral to the story going on with this one. And I feel like my problem with it is it's one extreme or the other. And okay, you know what, just if you haven't read this book and you don't want any spoilers, and I'm finicky about spoilers, so I'm just gonna play it cool and throw out this warning. Um, as long as you can see the book on the screen, I'm yapping about it. Um, I feel like the problem were those extremes. It was male, female, husbands, wives, and that fucking dynamic and bullshit. Or, you know, black, white, rich, poor, and just, there are apparently no other ethnicities in the world. Didn't you know that? There are no other ethnicities in the world. And it's just, I don't understand what's going on. That's all, like, and like, it's not to add pressure to a, a writer. From what I've read and am used to with him, I expect more from him. I think he's more capable than this if he wants to make a fucking point. Right? Because at the same time, this like main story idea and stuff, that shit I was enjoying. I had difficulty putting this book down, even though I was frustrated what felt like the whole fucking time. And while we're talking about these housewife bitches, <laughs> I don't know if it was their intelligences being insulted or my intelligence or all of it. Because there are times when like, I'm guessing these books for the book club are like clueish, right? But then there's a point, you know, not, it won't even necessarily be that much later where it's like, am I the only one who remembers that? Just, just me? I don't think so. That can't be, that can't be right. We're supposed to remember that, right? But apparently this bitch doesn't cause she's stupid or something. I don't know. I think we're not supposed to like the husbands. I think just right out the gate, we're not fucking supposed to like them. They're assholes. <laughs> and maybe, just maybe, given, we're giving Grady the benefit of the doubt here. I'm just gonna trigger myself this whole time, aren't I? So, like the main character, for example, I think a point that's trying to be made with her is she's very, very groomed. She, she really hits that point where she's like, this is all my fault. If I hadn't done this, then X, Y, Z wouldn't have happened. It's all dominoes. And it becomes every little 
fucking thing is her fault. And there are these different dynamics going on in these different marriages, right? Kind of personally, walking into this family, I didn't really like any of them. I was kind of okay with the son, because, like, you just got a freaking obsession, kid. But, like... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, the only black people in this story, since these are the only two ethnicities in this... Charleston? I think it's Charleston? Um... Are either really fucking poor. These are like not manicured lawns, okay? And or in positions of servitude, caregivers, house, like housekeeper, um, the men with the white gloves serving the drinks. Like, ugh, it's just the delivery, dude. The fucking delivery is just shit. It's fucking shit. And it's just not the way to go about it. My opinion. I kind of want to do a goddamn fanfic where it's like, you know this shit that's kind of like cool going on over here? And it's just kind of peppered in and you're just like, if it wasn't for this fucking shit, I would have DNF this shit so fucking... <laughs> and just get it out. Just fucking get it out of our system. I don't even have to upload that shit to a pet. I will just keep that shit for myself. I don't give a fuck. I don't want to like be insulting to Grady and stuff. Like apparently like this book, it, he wrote it over the course of at least a couple of years. Like it took some time maybe that was his soul going this isn't the way <laughs> this just isn't the way to go about it all that said i almost read the entire book and then in one fucking day almost one fucking setting i like forced myself to put it down at a point so i could like watch some videos just because i was getting really fucking frustrated like whose intelligence are you trying to insult i don't know or how i'm feeling is it on purpose valid Fuck you but valid <laughs> not fuck you but you know and also the fucking repetition it would be to the point of on this page like descriptors for a room for a general example keeping it simple and vague and literally on this page word for fucking word the same fucking sentence, like, the source.com, my buddy. Like, come on, come on, my, my bro. Like, no, like, you, you're better than this. That's how I feel about that. And then uh, prompt five is read a horror short story. So that, I haven't read it yet, because you know how I am with 20th century ghosts. <laughs> it's right there waiting for me, and we're never finished. I always have it to read. I just like to pick it up every now and then and read a story and put it the fuck back down. The one that I am on currently um, is Better Than Home. So that's where I am there. I would talk a bit about this, but I think I would just rather save that for like the general, the whole book stuff. So just a little update that that's where I am on that. And then I'll officially be done with half a way in on. I need to stop trying to film and edit in one day, just simply because my neck says no. <laughs> All right, you guys take care. Please try to stay safe. I'll try as well. Much again, thanks to Alex the Bookubus. Holy shit, Chicky Mama. Um, you also introduced me to Half a Wayne-a-thon 2021 with the Spinebreakers, so thank you to them as well for getting this shit started. Fucking A. This has been great. Jesus, I devoured these books. I... <sighs> with just the one, I really fucking loved all of these stories, so thank you for giving me that booster excuse to freaking do this shit because yeah i'm in the middle of editing the next ghostly story time uh <laughs> it's a little different than usual but it's something that's been bugging the shit out of me the clips for round two of guess that movie have been edited down and now i'm just deciding the song and how to place everything in there and that'll probably be on at the, attached at the end of the next book review video for since for those who don't know, I've been enjoying learning video editing. I've been having a freaking ball, actually, and I need to learn 
how to have some form of executive functioning when I'm doing it, actually. I need to do that really bad, because I'm fucking myself. Oh, I don't know, I'm just having fun learning all the different bells and whistles, so we're gonna make a game out of it. And I just, I only use clips from movie trailers, so whatever they're cool with, thrown into people's faces right from the get-go are the things that I use to keep things fair. Take care, fam. I'll see you next time.